Hello. Today we are going to continue talking about writing paragraphs, but I'm going to show you another way to think about it. Yesterday we looked at our, our burger with our top bun topic sentence and our juicy details and our bottom bun concluding sentence. Today we're going to look at paragraphs like a traffic light. So our traffic light paragraphs, the green tells us to go. It's our topic sentence, and it's the sentence that tells, the par tells what the paragraph will be about. The yellow means to continue, keep going. These sentences are the supporting sentences. Remember, we need three key details or three supporting sentences, and these add details to the main topic sentence. And then the red light tells us, to stop. It's time for our ending. This is our concluding sentence, our ending sentence, conclusion. And it means that our paragraph is finished. So it's just another way of looking at our paragraph writing. Um, we still have the topic sentence, the three key details, and the ending sentence, but it's just a different way to look at it. Instead of a juicy burger, this is a traffic light. So green tells us to go. That's our topic sentence. We're starting our writing. The yellow tells us to continue. And we have three key details or three supporting sentences. And then red light tells us that we're at the end of our paragraph. This is our ending sentence or our concluding sentence. So I am going to write my traffic light paragraph. And I am going to write about going to the beach. So my topic sentence is my favorite place to go with my family is the beach. So now I need to add my three supporting details. And remember when we add our three supporting details, we use transition words. And this template has some suggested uh, transition words that we can use for our supporting details. So my first detail is the reason the, the first reason I, oh, I gotta capitalize my I. I love the beach is because B E C A. I can search for seashells. So this is my first key detail. Now I'm gonna add another key detail. I'm going to use a transition word to start my next key detail. So I'm going to use next. I enjoy building sand castles with my family. Okay, so my third key detail, I need to use another transition word. So I'm going to use lastly. This word tells us that this is my last key detail. The best part about going to the beach is swimming in the ocean. So I have my topic sentence. I have my three key supporting details and I use my transition words. So now I'm at red light, stop. This is the end of my paragraph, my conclusion sentence. So my conclusion sentence is going to the beach is always great. Uh, okay, is always a great time. when I am enjoying it with my family. 
So my green light told me to go start my paragraph. It was my topic sentence. My topic sentence, my favorite place to go with my family is the beach. My yellow light says slow down, add supporting details, but continue on. So I wrote my three key details, my three supporting details, and I used my transition words. I said the first reason I love the beach is because I can search for sea seashells. <laughs> My second supporting detail, I use my transition word. Next, I enjoy building sandcastles with my family. My third supporting detail, I use my transition word. Lastly, the best part about going to the beach is swimming in the ocean. My red light says stop. This is the conclusion sentence. This is the uh, concluding sentence, the ending. This is how you end your paragraph. And remember, our conclusion sentence needs to summarize or retell what we said in our topic sentence. So my conclusion sentence was, going to the beach is always a great time when I'm enjoying it with my family. So we're now going to look at putting these all together to write my paragraph. So this is my final paragraph. So I have my topic sentence here. Ooh, I want to wait. My favorite place to go with my family is to the beach. So that's my topic sentence. And when we start our paragraph, we need to indent our topic sentence so the reader knows this is the start of a new paragraph. And we'll talk more about indentions later this week. But it's you indent. You put space before your first topic sentence so that the reader knows it's the beginning of the paragraph. So my favorite place to go with my family is to the beach. That's my topic sentence. I then write my key details. I said the first reason I love the beach is because I can search for seashells in the sand. I then follow it with my next key supporting detail with my transition word next, I enjoy building sandcastles with my family. I then follow that with my third key detail or supporting detail. Lastly, the best part about going to the beach is swimming in the ocean. So I have my topic sentence, I have my three supporting details, and now I end it with my concluding sentence or my conclusion sentence, my ending sentence. Going to the beach is always a great time when I am enjoying it with my family. So I used my topic sentence, I used my three key details, and my conclusion sentence to connect and add all my paragraph back together. I used punctuation. After my topic sentence, I used a period. So my topic sentence ended. I used periods after each key detail. I used my transition words when I wrote my key supporting details. And I indented my first space on my paragraph so that the reader would know it's a new paragraph. So these are all things we're going to think about when we're writing our paragraph all together later this week. But for today, you are going to create your own traffic light topic sentence. So yesterday I gave you the, uh, the topic of writing about the first day of school. Today, you can choose your own topic sentence. So you can create your very own topic sentence, something you want to write about, but your three supporting details or your three key details need to connect to that topic sentence. And your conclusion sentence needs to restate or summarize your topic sentence. So they all need to be connected and try using your transition words first, then, next, last, when you're writing each key detail. So your first key detail could start with first. Your second key detail could start with then or next. And your last key detail could start with last, lastly. And then you write your conclusion sentence. So you're gonna choose your own topic, Write a topic sentence, three supporting details, and a conclusion sentence. 
you can use this template or you can um, just write them on a piece of paper, but make sure that you separate your topic sentence, your three key details, and your concluding sentence.